We have an update on the shooting at the carriage apartments in Odessa back in June. That's where four teens were shot and hospitalized. Tonight we have an update on those victims. Hunter Alcocer spoke to the grandmother of one of them, Hunter. Crystal, according to Yolanda, Yolanda Sims, the grandmother of 18-year-old Javen Landerth, three of the four victims are still in the hospital. One of them has already checked out. I spoke with Sims about her grandson, who is still being treated. Yolanda Sims says that her grandson, Javen, is still in critical condition but stable. Okay, when he first woke up, he was still intubated, and he started signaling to write something, so the nurse got him a paper and a marker, and he wrote, am I alive? And I said, yes, you're alive. She says she's always known her grandson to be a nerdy kid with a good heart who always wants to do the right thing. Sims also says that her family and the families of the others still in the hospital have come together in these tough times. All of them focused on the recovery of their boys first and foremost. Um, like I said, it's a tragedy for all of us. Um, we all have become a family here because we're all suffering the same, you know, um, our teenage boys are in ICU fighting for their lives. Sims goes on to say that parents need to keep an eye on their kids so that this doesn't happen to them. Pay attention to your children. Know their friends. Know their whereabouts. Keep a look out on social media because this is real. This is real. Sims says that she is praying for everyone involved, including the suspects, feeling that the lives of all the young men involved have changed because of this incident.